Hi, I'm Mike Watson, and I want to talk to you about a problem in operations research that I really like. Facility location, supply chain design, network design, it's all called the same thing. It's all about trying to figure out where you should locate your different facilities. I've done a lot of work in the supply chain space, and in that space it's about where do you locate your manufacturing plants, where do you locate your warehouses, where do you make different product. And I think this is a field that is better explained visually. And so if you look at a map, like the one we're showing here, rectangles, which represent the factory. So this is where I make products. So you see one in Mexico, one in Iowa, and one on the East Coast. And then you see the green dots, which are the customers. And so our problem is to figure out how to get our products from the factories to our customers. And you see all the triangles throughout the US. And what facility location is doing is just trying to figure out which of these do you pick? How many do you pick? Do you pick three? Do you pick five? And then once you pick those, which customers do they service? On the visual side, when you look at the output, you see these two different maps here. You can see these are solutions to a network design problem. And I think this is also interesting because there's no one right answer. So one of these solutions is optimal for cost. It's much cheaper. I have much longer blue lines, which are shipments from the warehouses to the customers. So that's cheaper from a transportation point of view. But the one on the right, which looks cleaner, you can see that this one is optimal from a service point of view. And this is always fun too with these kind of problems is when you present this to the decision makers, there's always lots of different choices and always fun intricacies to kind of play around with. So if you like using math and data to solve problems, I think network design is a great uh, field to be in.